Amazon EC2 Instant Store provides temporary block level storage located on disks that are physically attached to the host computer. Hi guys, this is Abhi from GokshaDB. And in this video, you're going to learn seven things about the EC2 Instant Store in AWS. Let's get into it. Number one, Instant Store is ideal for temporary storage of information that changes frequently, such as buffers, caches, and scratch data. Number two, an EC2 instant store volume exists only during the lifetime of the instance to which it is attached. You can't configure an instant store volume to remain active beyond the lifetime of its associated instance. Number three, the data on an instant store volume persists if the instance is rebooted. However, if the instance is stopped, hibernated or terminated, every block of the instance store volume is cryptographically erased. Number four, if you need to retain the data stored on an instance store volume beyond the lifetime of the instance, you should copy that data to a more persistent storage, such as an EBS volume, S3 bucket, or Amazon EFS. Number five, an instance store consists of one or more instance store volumes exposed as block devices. The size of an instance store, as well as the number of devices available, varies by instance type and instance size. Number six, termination protection and stop protection do not protect instances against instance stops or terminations as a result of shutdowns initiated through the operating system on the instance. Data stored on instance store volumes do not persist in both instance stop and termination events. Last but not the least, number seven, the first write to any location on some instance store volumes perform more slowly than subsequent writes. If you require high disk performance, you should initialize your drives by writing once to every drive location before production use. In summary, Amazon Instant Store volumes are ideal for workloads that require low latency and high throughput temporary storage that can be easily recreated. There you have it. If you have any questions, mm. leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.